Welcome to the first in a series of instructional videos designed to help you learn how to write music. For this series of videos, I am going to assume you are wanting to write a reasonably short piece, perhaps between two and three minutes. These video lessons are primarily for writing instrumental music as opposed to writing a song with lyrics, although a lot of the same principles of writing a song do of course apply to writing an instrumental piece. The way we'll be demonstrating the writing process will be mainly through GarageBand, with most of the recording done through a MIDI keyboard, and some recording will be processed live through an external audio interface. Again, a lot of the processes involved in GarageBand can be transferred to most sequencing software. I will also be assuming you have some knowledge of reading scores, although I will not be relying on this too much. And due to the fact that I will be recording via a MIDI controller keyboard, I will also be assuming you have some basic keyboard skills to allow you to record melodies and harmony using this approach. When starting to write music, you need to first of all think, what is your reason for creating something? Is it a school assignment, just for fun, to learn new skills? Let's assume you have a clear purpose. You want to write a piece of music, but you don't yet have all the necessary skills to allow you to do so. Before we get started, there are lots of things you will need to uh, make decisions on before you start writing, such as instrument choice, how many instruments, which type, and also the style of the piece. Is it your choice or are you writing in response to something? For example, has someone asked you to write music in a specific style? Are you writing for a piece of film footage, an advertising campaign, social media background music? This list could be endless, really. Or is it simply a free choice and you just want to produce something? There are, of course, other things you need to consider, such as the tempo of the piece, the key, rhythmic elements, what type of melody the piece might have, the structure of the piece. Again, the list goes on and on. One of the most important things to consider, however, is the style in which you want to write your music, because it will have an impact on so many aspects of the writing process, especially when you get started, which is what we're looking at today. For example, let's imagine you're writing something to accompany a piece of visual material for, let's say, a YouTube clip, and the music needs to be quite emotional because the subject content is perhaps quite sensitive or simply just demands a particular type of music. That style of music then dictates most aspects of your writing process. For example, the tempo will be slow, the time values you use may be longer for the melody and, and accompaniment, so think crotchets, minims, quavers perhaps piece may be in a minor key. Your instrument choice will obviously be of significant importance here. Your melody will, will be quite lyrical, perhaps singable, you know, think a, a legato flowing melody. So the style of music really dictates everything your piece will be and contain and a lot of what it will not. And you can actually use this to your advantage. If you struggle with playing and writing rhythm rhythmic material, for example, uh, the style of music we've just been talking about might suit that style of writing because in a slow emotional piece, complex rhythmic material, riffs or melodies or ideas will not really be an element of that piece. However, it is important to note that whilst the, the style of the music will have an impact on the elements within your piece already talked about, you still need to have largely the same approach to the mechanical aspects of writing music, such as how to add harmony to a melody and how to write a melody and so on. I suppose the point I'm trying to make is that you really want to invest some time into the choice of style uh, of music you're, you're, you're writing in. To demonstrate this, th this very quickly, and, and I suppose to end this first introductory video, I'm going to play you three versions of the same melody. What I've got is a fairly simple melody, eight bars in duration, and I've recorded three versions, uh, quite a straightforward three versions. And um, What I've been talking about in this video so far will hopefully become clear when you listen to these. The important thing to note is that the melody is identical in all of the pieces, but they're recorded in slightly different styles. And what you should notice is that so many aspects of the piece differ depending on the style. And I'm not going to necessarily explain the differences uh, individually. The most important thing to do is to use your ears and work out what these may be. So here is the, the first version which with, I suppose, the, the original melody. It sounds like this. Okay. 
we'll listen to it again. This time I'll show you the melody so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, and here is the, the second version of the same melody, albeit uh, it's down an octave. It's the same melody, but in a, in a different style. <laughs> original. To, uh, or we'll go to the third uh, version again using the exact same melody but in a different style again. Please do go back and listen to those versions again uh, in your own time. Um, you'll notice that some of the differences are quite subtle, and I suppose a lot of the differences come down to, in, the, in these cases, uh, tempo and the use of instruments. Uh, and it shows you that a melody can be interpreted in different ways, and even though the melody is clearly very important, it's only one element of a piece of music. If you have a free choice in terms of the style of your piece, whatever style you end up will depend on your own experience as a musician your own performance ability and the style of music you like to perform as well as the styles of music you like to listen to. Thank you for watching this, the, the introduction uh, to this video series. Um, the next video we will look at how to actually begin the process of writing a melody. Thank you.